The Bolt Card from Coin Corner is a physical NFC tap card that can be used to pay via Bitcoin's Lightning Network at any physical merchant or any online merchant accepting Bitcoin Lightning payments via tap on your phone. You can also use the card to create uh, tappable NFC enabled Bitcoin vouchers or gift cards that can be redeemed by anybody with a Lightning wallet on their phone. Today we're going to take a look at how to set up and use the Bolt card. I am Ben with the BTC Sessions. This is your daily session. Huddle the Bitcoin. Shout out to sponsors of the show, ShakePay.com. If you're in Canada, super easy way to buy Bitcoin. You can transfer in and out via e-transfer with no fees on either end, as well as deposits and withdrawals of Bitcoin. No fees there either. There's a thin spread. And if you use the link down below to sign up and purchase your first $100 worth of Bitcoin, they will give you 30 bucks for free. You also get 30 bucks every time you refer friends and family using your link. And then you can shake your phone every single day for free sats. You can use the sats back visa card and things like shake paid to earn even more Bitcoin on everything you do. Be sure to check them out. Links are down below. Up next, we have Ledin.io. You can use these guys for a ton of different services in regards to Bitcoin. I particularly find them useful whenever I'm in a pinch, I have a cash flow issue and I need my hands on dollars, but I don't want to sell my Bitcoin. Well, I can deposit here, get a loan of dollars to my bank account. And when I pay back those dollars, I get back the same amount of Bitcoin. They also have savings accounts for Bitcoin and USDC. They've got their B2X offering and they've got uh, Bitcoin backed mortgages rolling out across Canada and soon to some select US states. If you would like to check them out, head over to start.ledin.io slash BTC sessions to learn more. And if you sign up and fund your account, you can get 10 bucks for free as well. Up next, we have BitRefill. These guys help me a ton with living on Bitcoin and they can help you out too. I can purchase really any any gift card that I need with Bitcoin, both on-chain and via the Lightning Network, which I use all the time. You earn sats back as you shop. You can earn additional sats back using the referral program. And on top of that, they've just rolled out bill payments in the US so they can really help you get on that Bitcoin standard. So be sure and check them out, bitrefill.com. Keystone is one of my favorite and most used hardware wallets. It is 100% air gap, meaning you never plug it into anything internet connected. Everything's done offline via QR code. It works beautifully with wallets like Blue Wallet, Sparrow, Spectre, runs the gamut. It's awesome in a multi-sig. I highly recommend you upgrade to the Bitcoin only firmware though, uh, just to make sure it's ultra secure for you. You can check out my full tutorial on it uh, and you can check out the links to grab one down below. And finally, if you're backing up any important Bitcoin wallet, be sure to check out the bill foddle over at privacypros.io. Uh, you can get your seed phrase into solid steel. This is just so much better than having it in paper. You then have to worry about fire damage and water damage, or even just discarding a little piece of paper sitting around your office. It's really not the best way to do things. So this is why I back up all of my important Bitcoin wallets with the bill foddle. So check them out again, privacypros.io. And with that, let's dive into the show. So let's talk about prerequisites. What are you going to need to know? What are you going to need to do or have in order to utilize the bolt card? Well, it depends on how you plan on using this thing. So if you want to use the bolt card as a gift card, which can be tapped and have any uh, lightning funds allocated to it redeemed to somebody's lightning wallet on their phone, well, all you really need there is a phone that has NFC and some knowledge of how to utilize uh, lightning payments. That's pretty much it. And you'll be set up. You don't even have to have the Coin Corner app to make it work. You can make it work without Coin Corner whatsoever in that sense. Now, if you'd like to have the ability to pay merchants day to day via lightning, and this would apply to any merchants accepting uh 
whether it be dollars or whatever, just at any store in general, or whether it be a merchant that is actually directly accepting Lightning and has NFC enabled on their phone, um, you can do that with this card as well, but you will need a Coin Corner account for that function. So just keep that in mind depending on what you're trying to do. And also, Coin Corner does operate in multiple different countries, but it's going to depend on where you are geographically as to whether or not you can use that function and utilize it with a Coin Corner account. So again, check out Coin Corner, make sure that uh, you're available for, or you're able and eligible for that function if you plan on using it. But if you're just using the gift card part, then you're pretty much set and you can grab one right away. So with that, let's get started and see how this thing works. So here we are in the Coin Corner app, and I want to take you through just the flow of funding your account first off, and we're going to go through uh, how to get Bitcoin in particular. I'm not, not going to go through the fiat rails, um, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to add funds so that we can then fund a gift card first. So I'm going to hit add funds. We're going to be depositing via Lightning. Uh, we're going to use all Lightning today. So we're going to hit Lightning. And then how many sats would you like to fund your account with? So I'm going to hit, uh, we'll say 10,000 sats. Okay. You can add a description if you like. You don't have to. And then we'll hit Create. This creates a Lightning invoice, which could be scanned. But since we're right here, uh, I'm just going to tap. And that will copy the invoice to my clipboard. Um, and then I can go into whatever wallet app I would like to use. So I've got a few up here, but I've got a couple over here as well. And I'm going to use Moon Wallet for this one as an example. So I'll put in my pin here and I'll go ahead and hit send and I'll paste that invoice that I've just copied to the clipboard. It says 10,000 sats. Uh, it is going to coin corner. I'll confirm the note. I'm going to go ahead and hit send. So that gets sent off. And I believe, oh, and I'm getting a notification right now, coin corner, 10,000 sats. Invoice has been paid. I can hit back. Now, I did previously have a balance in there. I was just on the ad fund screen. That's why I've got uh, 60 euros. No, uh, the price didn't pump in the few sec seconds since I started the show. Uh, but I now have a balance here within Coin Corner, and I'm able to utilize it with my Bolt card. So it's important to note at the time of recording this video, if you first set up your Bolt card as a debit card, you will be unable to then change it to a gift card after the fact, but I don't think that's true of the other way around. You can set it up as a uh, gift card first and then wipe it and then set it up as a debit card afterwards. They're looking at changing this in the future, but just know at the time of recording this video, that is not the case and it has to do, dis has to do with something about setting up the private key and the security around that. So just be aware that, uh, you know, if you want to use it as a debit card, it's going to be again, as of the time of recording this video, only a debit card, okay? But we're doing the gift card function first. And so we're gonna go through that flow. So I've got my Coin Corner app here and I've got my card on the ready. So within Coin Corner, what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna go to cards down in the bottom right and we're gonna choose gift card. Here, it just says set up. We're gonna tap that button. We're going to choose the design and uh, the designs here just kind of help you keep tabs on what you're using it for, but we'll hit the one that we're using. We'll hit next. Then it's going to ask for a description. We're just going to call it test and you can name it whatever you want. And then we'll just do a simple one for 100 sats. Okay. Now I'm going to hit create and it says it's ready to scan. So just hold your card to the back of the phone. Boom. Success. That card is now ready to go. So I can go ahead and we'll just go back to cards here, back to that screen. And now if I exit out of this app, I can actually just tap it to any phone with NFC enabled. And it should give you some options of where you'd like to 
give that money. So imagine loading this card and either giving it to somebody and then they can reuse it after or uh, just simply tapping to somebody's phone. What it will do is it will sweep all of the funds allocated off of it into the person's Lightning wallet. So let's see what that would look like. You tap the back and you will likely get a list of potential apps that could handle this Lightning payment. Now I want to make note of something and this is just a tricky thing not with the card itself but more so with mobile devices is your nfc may default to the same app every single time with mine i found it defaulting to breeze and since i wanted to show this menu here i have uninstalled breeze temporarily just for the first couple examples uh, just so you know this may be a behavior that you see uh, unfortunately, I don't know how to change this. I've been looking and searching, but it hasn't come up yet. Nonetheless, in my testing, the apps that this works with right now, it works with Zeus, which is connected to my own Lightning node. It works with Wallet of Satoshi. It works with Phoenix Wallet, Blue Wallet, Moon Wallet, Zebedee, and Breeze, which is currently uninstalled. The other options that are here right now, it does not currently function with, uh, but who knows, maybe there'll be support soon. Uh, but anyways, we've tapped here. We can select the app we'd like to use. I'm gonna go ahead and use Phoenix this time. And it inputs all of the info. It says, hey, this is, uh, you can redeem 100 sats. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the redeem button. And there we go. We've now received a payment here and we have a notification popping up top from Coin Corner letting us know that it has been redeemed. If I go back into my Coin Corner app and I go to gift cards, you can see it has now blanked out and the card can be set up again for redemption as many times as I want. So this is now blank. What I can do is I can hit set up again, just as an example, we'll choose, we'll just say test again. We'll do another one for a hundred sats. We'll hit create, scan the card. It's now set. And let's try one more time for one other app. Tap. Uh, let's do Moon Wallet this time. I'll enter my pin off screen. And right away, it auto redeems so we can see an incoming payment right here, 100 sats, and it updates my balance. In terms of gift card functionality, this is simply an NFC enabled card, meaning you can encode it however you see fit. And since the mechanism used to create the gift card payment is an LN URL, you can really encode this with anything from any source. And so you can create a, a lightning gift card without Coin Corner whatsoever. So I'm going to give you an example of how you would go about doing that. So we're going to be using two different things here. We're going to use uh, a website called ln.cash to create our LN URL. And then we're also going to use a, uh, an application called NFC Tools. So let's first set up our LN URL, which will award a certain number of Satoshis. So we'll do, we'll say 100 Satoshis. Um, and we'll just say, here's some sets. Okay, so this is going to create an invoice for me to pay that somebody can then redeem later for these sets. So I'm gonna hit create. It says, hey, this is gonna cost you uh, 101 sats, one sat in a routing fee. Okay, so at this point, it gives me the option. I can uh, copy the QR code. I can open it in a wallet. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead, open it in a wallet, and I will use, sure, we'll use Wallet of Satoshi for this example. So we'll just hit that one. It's gonna see an invoice for 101 sats, which I'm going to pay. Perfect, so I've now paid that invoice. I should be able to navigate back. So this is now a scannable or redeemable LN URL. Anybody could scan this or get the code from it in order to redeem for 100 Satoshis. This will of course be redeemed by the time you're watching this video, but anybody can make one of these and just use it on the website, but we're gonna encode it into this card. So uh, to copy the actual LN URL, there's a little thing down below that says copy QR code. 
All right, and copy link would be to copy the URL to, to share. All right, uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to our NFC Tools app. When I open it up, we're gonna go to write, we're gonna hit add record, and we're gonna choose custom URL slash URI. At this point, you're gonna type in the word lightning, and this is what tells your phone when you scan it uh, what type of app to open, and you're gonna use the colon. After lightning colon, you're gonna paste in the LN URL that you just created. And you're gonna hit okay. So this creates this string of code, which uh, can then be read by any phone. It's gonna be added to this NFC so that when you tap, the phone recognizes this is what you're trying to do. And so we just need to write. So writing means we're taking this information and we're putting it onto this card. So I'm gonna hit write. It says, okay, you're gonna to need to tap this. That's it. This is now a functioning card that we've made without the help of Coin Corner. So let's make sure that it works. So we'll just exit here, I'll tap. And of course, it opens up here. Uh, let's check Zebedee. We'll try this one. 100 sats, I confirm. Awesome, close, there we go. 100 sats added to my balance in my Zebedee wallet from a lightning gift card that we created ourselves without the help of Coin Corner. So I've got another card here and I want to now demonstrate how to create this as a debit card, which can be used at a merchant that is accepting lightning payments that has NFC enabled on their point of sale. I just wanted to show you here, I've got Bitcoin selected, I've got a Bitcoin balance here, but I do not have a fiat balance, okay? There's no pounds, no euros, there's no dollars, there's nothing in here other than Bitcoin, okay? And so first we're gonna set up our card. We're going to go down to the bottom right, we're going to select cards, and this time we're going to choose bolt card. Now we're going to set this up from scratch, so we're going to hit setup, and it says ready to scan. And this one you're going to have to hold there for a few seconds, so try not to jiggle it or move it away from the device. There we go. We are set. So this gives you the option to disable the card, Edit the card details, which would be your daily limit uh, or single use limit. This would prevent somebody from being able to spend uh, if they got a hold of the card, so on and so forth. Um, so I'm going to leave those be. Right now it's just set to 50 pounds total. Uh, or I have the option to wipe the card. And the wipe the card would be the exact same process. I can hit wipe card and then I would have to hold it to my device for a few seconds while it wipes the information on the card. Okay. So at this point, I now have a working bolt card and that will be pulling from my balance here, which is specifically in Bitcoin. So what I wanna do now is I wanna show you what that would look like with a merchant that is accepting Bitcoin Lightning payments. And we're gonna do that with Breeze Wallet. So we'll be back in a sec and I'll show you what that looks like. So this is Breeze Wallet and I have done a, a full tutorial on this, so I'm gonna kinda glaze over a couple of the, the features here, but uh, just so you know, they do have a point of sale terminal within the app. So I'm just gonna navigate to that here. I'm gonna hit point of sale. And this is what you as a merchant might be using to charge a specific amount. And you can choose whether you're dealing with sats or dollars or whatever that is, but you're gonna receive it in Bitcoin. So this is an example again of a merchant accepting Bitcoin lightning payments themselves. So let's say I wanted to charge somebody 100 sats for something. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna hit charge 100 sats. This is then going to create a scannable QR code or you know, I can share the invoice, copy it, send it off, whatever I want. However, I can also use my Bolt card and I can simply tap to the device. Payment has been received and I'm now getting a notification that it has been debited from my Corn Corner account up top here. So very simple payments with Lightning via the Bolt card. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, please do like, subscribe, share, all those things help get this content in front of more eyeballs. And I thank all of you that have been doing that every single episode. If you want to help the show in another way, you can hit up the previously mentioned sponsors down below. Those were ShakePay, Lead and Bit Refill, Keystone, and Privacy Pros uh, with the Bill Funnel. And if you really liked what you saw, you can always drop me a Bitcoin tip at my Strike page. That is strike.me slash BTC sessions. You get there, you can type in any amount you like, hit the tip button, you'll be greeted with a lightning invoice, or if you prefer, tap the arrow to the right, you'll see a regular Bitcoin QR code. With that, I'm out. Have yourselves a wonderful day or evening, wherever you may be. See you guys next time for your daily session. Hold the Bitcoin.